Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company and Happy New Year. This is the first video of 2022 and I'm super excited to be sharing it with you today. I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to make a super strong shower steamer. In essence, a shower steamer and a bath bomb are very much alike in that they're both primarily comprised of baking soda and citric acid. And when they hit the warm water, they are activated and they start to fizz. Now with a shower steamer, they're used just for aromatherapy purposes. And a lot of times people will use them if they're having upper respiratory or sinus type issues or colds and coughs. So they're perfect for the wintertime season when a lot of those illnesses are going around. Last year around this time, I taught a class on how to make a shower steamer and over the year I've been perfecting and refining that recipe to make it even stronger and a little bit longer lasting. In this video today, I'm going to be giving you a full visual tutorial and process and giving you some tips and tricks and little secrets about how to make a super strong shower steamer. If you would like the full written recipe with percentages plus a full written detailed tutorial, please head on over to my Patreon campaign where you can unlock this recipe along with all other archived recipes. The library is growing every week and you can unlock those recipes for just a small $5 pledge. In this new year, I really hope you'll give some consideration to joining my Patreon campaign. We had some really amazing recipes in 2021 that are all still there for you to take advantage of. In addition to the recipe and tutorial tier, there are four other tiers on my campaign for you to look at and take advantage of, each with their own specific benefit. So there's lots to come in 2022, and the first one is shower steamers. Let's get started. All right, I have brought you over to my KitchenAid mixer. I'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves on now. And you do not have to have a KitchenAid mixer to create this recipe. You can really just do all of it by hand mixing. However, I'm gonna show you this method because this is my preferred method. But I did wanna let you know you don't need any fancy equipment to make this recipe. So in this KitchenAid mixer bowl, I have some regular baking soda. And I've gone ahead and broken up all the little chunks in there, and so now it's nice and smooth. So all we're going to do is go ahead and add in some green mica colorant along with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. And today I am using the beautiful Laurel Green Mica Powder from Nurture Soap. I love this nice kind of minty, vintagey green color. And it's going to show up as a really pale green in the shower steamer. However, we're gonna do some decorating on the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and just place a little bit of green mica in there. And then the next thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and wet down the baking soda just a little bit. This isn't even really something I measure. And it's more of an eyeball type of a process. So all I do is pour a little bit of rubbing alcohol, 99% rubbing alcohol, I don't wanna use any water. And I'm gonna slowly turn this on and then pour in my rubbing alcohol. And what I'm going for here is I just wanna dampen down my baking soda and get it a little bit wet and get that mica colorant distributed in. So we're going to give that a minute to stir up and I'll bring you right back when we're ready for the next step. Okay, so as you can see, the baking soda is now just a little bit dampened down with that rubbing alcohol and we've colored it a nice light green. So the next step is to add in most of the other dry ingredients. And I'll let you know what we're adding in here and, I, and I'll explain to you why we're adding in the things that we're adding in. So we're gonna be adding in cream of tartare, and we're using that to help with the fizzing action. It does enhance it a little bit, and it also helps to create a nice and hard shower steamer. We want the shower steamer to last a long time, and these, at least in my shower, these last the entire shower. And then the next dry ingredient we're adding in is cornstarch, and again, we're using the cornstarch to harden up the bath bomb and to keep it long lasting. And then the next thing we're adding in is kale and clay. And all three of these things are gonna make a rock solid 
shower steamer and add to the long lasting power of it. So notice I'm not adding any expensive, real expensive, the most expensive ingredient we're adding in here in the dry ingredients is the cream of tartare. Everything else is very inexpensive and you could just substitute the cream of tartare for more cornstarch. I just find that this helps it to make a little bit more fizz and also a little bit more of a long lasting type of shower steamer. So we're gonna go ahead and that's what's in my pitcher here. We're gonna slowly add in these dry ingredients. Okay, in this little container here, I have some menthol crystals and also some polysorbate 80. Now the menthol crystals are what's gonna give you a nice aromatherapy, kind of minty, menthol-y um, steam as it hits the water. It's very potent and very powerful. So what you do with this is we're gonna go ahead and melt these menthol crystals down into the polysorbate 80. And the reason we're using polysorbate 80 is because we're using mica colorants and we want to make sure that the mica colorants go down the drain and don't stick to the bottom of your shower pan. And this is also going to act as a wetting agent for our dry mixture. So that's why we're using the polysorbate 80 and then we're just going to use this as a solvent to melt down the menthol crystals. And then I will bring you back. The way that you do this, by the way, is you melt it down in your microwave literally on five second bursts. Um, no more than that and in between bursts you're going to stir it up until all the menthol crystals are melted down. I'll bring you right back when these are all melted down and we're ready for the next step. All right, my menthol crystals and polysorbate 80 are all melted down, so we are ready for the next step. I like to call this a little cocktail because we're adding in a lot of really potent ingredients. And by the way, this is not skin safe, meaning it's not skin safe for you to soak in it in the bathtub. It's got way too much menthol and the other essential oils that we're gonna be adding in here. Um, are too powerful to sit and soak in the bath. They're great for shower steamer purposes only. So you wanna make sure if you're selling these that you do indicate that on your packaging so people don't get confused and think, oh, that would be lovely in the bathtub. And actually it would be very irritating to your skin. So what I'm adding in here is camphor oil. Camphor oil is very um, penetrating and it's got kind of a medicinal smell to it. Um, very sinus clearing. I think this is the ingredient that I find makes a huge difference in the bath bombs. I mean the shower steamers. These make a huge difference in your fragrance in the shower steamer. And then the next thing we're going to be adding in is some eucalyptus essential oil. Just wipe that up. And the eucalyptus, you could swap this out for mint if you don't like eucalyptus. However, I am a huge fan of the way the eucalyptus is just super invigorating and smells wonderful, especially if you are not feeling well and you've got a stuffy nose. It really seems to do the trick. Okay, we're just gonna give this a good stir and then we're gonna add this powerful cocktail to the dry ingredients that we have so far. All right, a little something to note in regards to this very potent mixture is you wanna be in a very well ventilated space when you're working with this. I have my window open right now and my workstation and um, if you're sensitive to it, cause it's gonna get really strong as you start to mix it, you know, you could put on a mask if you're sensitive to it. And they don't stay that potent after they dry up, but it's in when you're making them, it can it does fill up the room and is very potent. So we're gonna go ahead and add in the wet ingredients. Stir in and incorporate. 
Okay, we have all of that incorporated so far, and the last thing we're gonna do is add in our citric acid. The citric acid combined with the baking soda is what gives you that fizz. After we're done incorporating this, we're gonna be ready to press. So I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate in my citric acid. Okay, and this mixture is looking fantastic and ready to press. I want to go ahead and give you a visual here of what the powder should look like. It's got a very powdery type consistency, and when you pick it up and squeeze it lightly, it should hold together. It doesn't need a, um, a very tight squeeze, but that's all you're going for. You don't want this mixture to be too wet. Um, and that's, that's what it looks like. It should be fairly powdery in consistency. And you might feel like, how does this hold together? You might almost get that feeling, but it holds together really nicely as I'm gonna show you in just a minute. All right, we are ready to press. Okay, we're ready to go ahead and press these shower steamers. And today I'm gonna to be using the Bath Bomb Press and it comes from thebathbombpress.com. And I'll go ahead and leave a link to that in the description box. Um, I'm using the cube shaped mold because they come out with a flat side so they're super easy to set down in your shower. However, I also wanted to share with you that I get a lot of complaints sometimes when I use the bath bomb press that um, you need a bunch of fancy equipment to make these recipes. This is my preferred method. However, you do not need a bath bomb press to make this recipe. You can hand press it, which I'll be demonstrating for you in just a few minutes here. But first we're gonna go ahead and show you how this works using the bath bomb press because this is my preferred method. So we're gonna go ahead and put that there. And I am weighing out, this will make um, about 25 or so, three ounce, three ounce shower steamers. And I'm not like pushing it in, I'm just kind of patting it down to get all the mixture in there. And then we place the square lid on, and then we move over to the bath bomb press. And this has two releases on it. It's got this toggle and then a toggle on the top. Both of them have to be activated in order for this to come down. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what that looks like. And this makes a really nice beautiful cube shaped shower steamer. It may appear a bit flimsy when they come out, but I assure you these dry up rock solid. So we're just gonna set this on a tray and then I'll show you what it looks like to press a few more of these. So let me show you how these work when you hand press because I know a lot of you are probably thinking, well, I don't have a bath bomb press. But let me show you. Obviously, you're gonna want something, you could do a half like one of these so that you create a flat side and your shower steamer sits like this in the shower. But I wanted to show you how easily these mold um, together. So you just mount it up a little bit And I'm not, I'm not compacting it. I'm just putting a little mound on each and then 
putting the two halves together, pressing, Just want to demo this for you. And show you how easily they also hand press. There's no cracking, it's very smooth, it holds together. So it's a very a friendly recipe for any equipment that you might have available. So we're just gonna continue on with the pressing. And then when they're all pressed, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna decorate the top. All right, so all the shower steamers are pressed and that made 28 three ounce shower steamers and you could leave them just like this. However, I'm gonna show you how you can decorate the top and make them a little bit more attractive. So I have just used the same uh, Laurel Green Mica and a bit of 99% rubbing alcohol and you wanna make sure it's 99% because if the alcohol is 70%, that means it's got 30% water and when you decorate the tops with that it'll activate your shower steamers and you'll get bubbles and warts all over. So you want to make sure this is 99% rubbing alcohol mixed with a little bit of mica and then we're just going to go ahead and decorate the top. All right, everybody, here's a little bit of a close-up here. They're just looking super pretty. Now, these, you wanna go ahead and let them set up for, I like to let them set up for about three days before I package them, and then I don't ruin any of those little ridge details on the cube. They get a chance to really harden up before you package them. And then I just use shrink wrap, and I, I use a shrink wrap machine, and I get them all wrapped up and they just work beautifully in the shower. Well, there you have it, everybody. That's how you make a super strong shower steamer. I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned something, and I hope it inspired you. If it did, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. Please remember to leave a comment or question below. We'd love to answer your questions, and share this video with a friend and consider subscribing to my channel. All right, catch you on the next video. Bye.